you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For today's meditation, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21. I'll read it for you. Test all things, hold fast what is good. I read it again. Test all things, hold fast what is good. We need to test everything. Yes, a human nature is that. We test everything that we buy. Everything that we buy. We don't buy it blindly. Even if you go to a vegetable shop, whatever vegetables you pick up, you always test them. Yes, you, you want to feel that if it is good, if it is fine, if it is good and if there is no nothing wrong in it, we find out. We see to that if it, is, if it is not rotten and if it is all fresh. Simple things, whatever we buy in this world, we see to that they are all fresh and good and we buy and we use them. For this physical life, for this flesh, for this body, which is a mortal body and which is going to be destroyed one day and which is going to go to this soil, this sand. How much more we need to be careful about our inner man who is going to live forever. Everything that he believes, everything that he is holding on, we need to test and we need to hold fast on what is good, what is everlasting, what is stable. We need to find out and we need to hold on to it. So, everything, whatever we come across in our life, test and then hold on to it. Just don't blindly believe, but test it. And find out if it is good Then hold on to it Because Jesus is going to come very soon And what we are holding on is very important It should not break out What we are holding Should not take us away What, what we are holding Should not come to an end It should stand forever It should be everlasting one So what are the things that we need to test in our life Few verses I would like to give you Number 1 Ephesians chapter 5 Verse 8 and 10 says like this. Ephesians 5, 8 and 10. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. Test and know what is acceptable to God. Find out what your God likes. Find out what God wants in your life. Many a times, we try to give big things to God, but God is expecting few simple things from our life. We don't know, but we try to give many things. We think a 40 days fasting prayer is going to satisfy God. We think a 21 days fasting prayer is going to satisfy God. We think a crore rupees that we give as offering is going to satisfy God. No, my friend. Sometimes God is expecting small little things from your life For a change in your life For a transformation in your life Maybe that, that is very simple and little Maybe that is like a stone That is stopping a vehicle not to move forward And this morning Find out And remove that stone Remove that stumbling block Remove that hindrance Take it away And you can move forward in your life Maybe that's a little one Find out what your God is wanting Test and know What is acceptable before God Find out Just don't blindly give Find out and give Know what he likes and give And sure When you know what he likes and give Yes Small things can make a big change in your life Little things Simple things Can carry a big blessing into your life Today, this morning, test and know what your God accepts. What your God wants. Number two, 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. I'll read it for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you are disqualified I want to read the first part again Examine yourselves As to whether you are in the faith Examine yourselves As to whether you are in the faith Test yourselves Yes my friend We need to test ourselves We need to find out 
how strong is our faith first test and know what god wants second test your faith we call ourselves believers but are we really believing is there a complete faith in our life are we having that trust and that belief that god can do things in my life when we come to the crossroads when we come to a place of question we have so much of questions running around imagine you're going through a loss in your life are you seriously mourning for that loss or are you being filled by the presence of god in that loss imagine you're going through a very terrible very difficult times and rough roads in your life are you lamenting over it or are you talking about it to people are you sharing it with people and saying i'm going through this or are you sitting at the feet of god and pouring pouring your your heart to the lord test examine this find out if there is faith and belief in us yes we will not lament yes we will not grumble we will not do this we will just wait for god to do a miracle and we will believe in the lord and we will call in the name of the lord we will rejoice in the lord rejoicing in the lord when everything is fine is easy but i'm talking about rejoicing in the lord at difficult times at rough passages my friend test your faith today is your faith strong enough test yourselves and find out if there is real faith in you Number 3 what does the word of god say Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 it says like this bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and try me now in this the lord says try me now which means test me now in this try me now in this says the lord of hosts If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it God says firstly test and know what God likes second test your faith third test if God can bless you the word of the lord says give your tithes many many new 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 testament believers say we are all in the new testament we need not give tithes that is an old testament custom so what is the new testament custom give yourself 100 100 100% my question is if you cannot give 1/10 how can you give 100 100% don't take it as an argument test and see if god can bless you you want to know if tithe is right or not don't argue give to the lord your tithes and see if god is blessing you that's what the word of the lord says i'm not saying the lord says god says give and see yes my friend test and know if god can bless you not just believing that god will bless you but really witnessing it a witness is something someone who sees it and hears it see hear it and see it that god is doing it in your life and then witness about it number 4 galatians chapter 6 verse 4 it says like this but let each one examine his own work and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another examine yourself your action your words test yourself am i living a righteous life Am I living a holy life? Am I living a right life? Is my actions are right? Is my words in my mouth are right? Is my thoughts are right? Examine your own work. And sure, when you examine your work, God will correct you. God will put you at the right place and you can bring glory to God. Shall we pray? Gracious loving heavenly Father, we thank you Thank you lord we praise you lord lord help us to test and find out what is right and help us to hold on to it for you're going to come very soon as we heard your word today help us lord that we will 
test and we will know what you want we will test and we will know our faith we will test and we will know that you can bless us we will test and we will know about our works lord we pray that you will help everyone to walk according to your word bless everyone let your name be glorified in their life let this day be a blessed day for your children in jesus precious name we pray amen amen may the lord bless you have a wonderful day thank you